Drama finds a new vehicle in television. Motion Picture News, October 6th, 1928. Though it is less than a year since Dr. E. F. W. Alexanderson brought his television receiver out of the laboratory and demonstrated it before newspapermen, the device for sending vision and sound by radio is now being employed to regularly broadcast drama from station WGY in Schenectady, New York. On September 1st, during the regular television period of the Schenectady station, the first play by television was broadcast by a dramatic group organized to present drama to the radio audience, transmitting picture and voice simultaneously on separate radio channels. This accomplishment was made possible by the development of Dr. Alexanderson, consulting engineer of the General Electric Company and chief consulting engineer of the Radio Corporation of America, of a portable transmitter or camera. The play broadcast was J. Hartley Manners' The Queen's Messenger. Owing to the fact that in its present form, the transmitter permits of showing only the heads of the actors, a dramatic technique adapted to the medium was evolved by Mortimer Stewart, producer and director of a series of radio plays broadcast by WGY and New York stations last spring. Since the present and still crude apparatus does not permit of conveying action by means of head movements, facial expressions, or gestures, Mr. Stewart adopted the close-up method frequently employed in motion pictures. Thus, for example, the lady of the play offered to pour some wine for the messenger. A separate camera picked up the image of the lady's hands with bottle and glass as she poured the wine. Keys, a ring, a revolver, and many other props were introduced in close-ups to forward the action of the play. In the presentation of the Queen's Messenger, three cameras were used. The camera consisted of three units, a cabinet containing a 24-hole disc and a 1,000-watt lamp as a light source, and two smaller cabinets, each housing a photoelectric tube with amplifier. In a statement in which he commented upon the first drama broadcast by television, Martin P. Rice, manager of broadcasting for the General Electric Company, said, Now we have shown what Dr. Alexanderson has accomplished. And in broadcasting a play by television, we have endeavored to point out one of the very interesting applications of the new art. When television has reached that stage of development where sight signals may be received as reliably as sound signals are now received, we at WGY hope to be prepared to carry the image as well as the voice of the actor to thousands not heretofore privileged to enjoy the drama.